no matter what happens. I don't care how high, how low is my back leg. I will not give up the support, the strength of my shoulder. Which means I will not do this. I will not. If this leg is up here so high, it doesn't matter. It's, to me, it's no value because there's no engagement of all back. This position, if you do this, this leg is a pure decorative. It's not useful. When you come to the center, when the bar is gone, when you jump, let's say from grand jeté, your body is not going to give you the support for you to land that jump properly. So, I hold my shoulder, I hold my back. I use all the tension to hold my back leg. And only that, this elange, it's not superficial. It is not for decorative purposes. It's actually serve its purpose. For what? For grand jeté land properly. Yeah, we need our shoulder, we need our back to hold our back leg. So, it's not showy, yeah? It's not, it's not for just for the look good and it's, it, it's utility. At this moment, this bar, it's utility, it's tool. It's a preparation to prepare us for the art form that come to the center. This is just like school with eight and bar. And then you know very well the bar is not gonna be here. Uh, the bar is not gonna be on stage with us. So we have to use the bar, we have to use this period of time to prepare us. Everything has to be authentic, honest, be honest. I think that this is the one thing I wanted to say. Be real, be honest. Real work, not decorative, not fancy, uh, not artistic, and all that. Let that happen later on. Let that happen later. In the rehearsals with the choreographers, learning a role, that's when the artistic part come in place. This is what coaching is for. Your coach, your teacher will coach you, get the artistic part of, out of you. But what we had to prepare for them is to have solid technique so they can coach us. You see the relationship? We have to get ourselves ready now so they can coach us. Mm -hmm.